exciting opportunity. It's about bringing the London 2012 Olympics to the community of Nottingham. So I'm hoping it's, it's creating a buzz and today is part of creating that buzz and going out there and getting, being a part of it. Simon so I told them on the video that how much he does for the Duke of Edinburgh Award I and mean, he gives up an enormous amount of time. He's a school teacher and he's away for many weekends doing the work with them in all weathers and, um, and that's why I think he needs to, it would be nice for him to be recognised for what he does. Basically nominated my son, which might seem a little bit nepotistic, but it's not. I think my son has done exceptionally well in his school, and I think this recognition is going to be brilliant for a lot of the kids that he mentors, because he's actually seen as a spokesman for the younger kids as they come in during transition. Well, people are very excited, and when we start talking about the torture day, people realise, wow, it's, it's just one year to go, and the celebration will start, and we will have a fantastic party in this country, and even if the games are in London, the flame that's travelling across the country will get everybody a chance to be a part of the games. Are you nominating anybody? I might well. I certainly won't be running with it, but I might nominate somebody, yes. Yeah, one of my brothers I'd nominate. Oh, yeah, really? he's, he's, he's really keen on sports. Torchbearers will also have their own torch. So there's 8,000 torches for 8,000 torchbearers, but it's just one Olympic flame. And when we have the exchanges between two torchbearers and they pass the flame from each other, it's, it's really a, a highlight moment on the road. And we, we probably expect around 15 million people to be on the road or at celebration sites like here in Nottingham to, to see the flame next year.